Shalom, all my sisters and my bro stars out there of the Star Seeds United allies and friends. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours, Abracadabra. You know, I, I saw this little story here of how a man was subduing lions, actually, with a slipper, and how he managed to do it. So that slipper had a whole lot of power. Yeah, so we're going to see the psychology in this. The man slapped the lion's paw and scolded it for damaging the car mat. The lion wanted to resist, but was afraid of the man's sandal, as it had been disciplined by it since it was young. Biting the man's hand resulted in a sandal beating, and making noise to interrupt the man would also get the sandal treatment. When a group of lions were fighting, they became alert as the man approached. As soon as he took off his sandal, the lions scattered in fear. Any misbehaving lion would be disciplined with the sandal. The lions were very respectful of the man, especially when he held the sandal. This respect wasn't only due to his physical threats. This was a dilapidated zoo, and the man was its director. I would say that that is the same description of the United States of America and those that are running the government. A dilapidated zoo. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Road to Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. So immediately when I saw this, I said, Project 2025 ain't nothing but a fucking slipper they want to slap us on the nose with by the big boss white man sitting on the power seat <laughs> project 2025 ain't nothing but a slipper trick y'all that's all it is how's your time been doing the same old thing, just like how that man, he was consistently, he would consistently hit those lions on the nose with that slipper. They've been doing the same damn thing over and over and over again while we were asleep. But now we have awakened. Yeah, they didn't want that document to get out. They wanted that to just kind of like, just sneak it on in there without anybody knowing. And I see our people all over the place, even um, a lot of our attorneys, young, old, male, female, from our tribe, from the tribe of Judah, breaking it on down, letting all the lions know this slipper trick. See, that's why I said if those lions ever communicated with each other and figured out what that man was doing, it would be no traces of him left. Once those lions wake up and figure out who they are and who the director is, who's been controlling them, and how he's been controlling him, and figure out the nerve, the unmitigated gall of this Caucasian that comes out of the Caucasus Mountain. And they figure out his caucasity and what he has done to them. There would be no traces of him left. Lions can have many personality traits, including being confident, independent, and natural leaders. They can also be decisive, focused on achieving their goals and value their strength and competence. However, Lions can, can also be prone to anger and aggression, especially when their authority or control is challenged. They may also have difficulty admitting their weaknesses and can sometimes come across as intimidating and overly domineering. So everything that that man has done to those lions, hitting them on the nose with that slipper, was against their nature. And if they ever woke up, there would be no traces of that man. So now we're talking about Project 2025, the unmitigated caucasity 
of these racist white Trump supporters to think, to even think that they would get into government, have a magical document with some words on it, pass it through their Congress, pass it through their sen sen uh, Senate, and put us back into slavery? Well, the lions have been communicating. The lions now know who they are. And if they even try to pop us on the nose with that slipper called Project 2025, there will be no traces of them left. Abracadabra. And that is what's happening in our world right now. The lions are communicating. And what disrespect, Project 2025, that rubber slipper that they're trying to hit the lions on the nose with, the disrespect of that to try to throw us back into not Jim Crow they want to throw us back into slavery yeah this whole thing started y'all know we've been fighting for our nation this is just another magical trick of Hashitan and his children they are behind the whole thing because they want to subdue us with this little stupid magical trick called project 2025 but the lions have already started communicating the lions are awakened yeah so, so now you see how the most high god of israel he connected us he, he's wakened us up and i'm talking about our specific mission star siege united we are the spark mother told me that a couple years ago it's like with a, a stove you have to have the the ignition switch working that little spark without that spark you have that whole stove you can have the uh, uh, fuel and all of that but without the spark you can't it's just it's just not complete it won't work and so the most high assigned us to be the spark to ignite the flames and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna burn up project 2025 but the most high has already started with the lions communicating and that is the danger of them trying to hit us on the nose with that weak ass trick called project 2025 so now we know that they wanted to attach that with donald trump donald trump is all in on it he said oh no i don't know anything about project 2025 we know his ass is lying yeah that's his people that's the people that support him everything in that document from what i heard about it i didn't read no 900 page shenanigans all of it was for the benefit of trump supporters and to put us down further down in the pyramid we are see we're already at the bottom some of us struggle few of us struggle to be kind of like you know maybe up there on the same level of the people that's right above our heads yeah and so this whole project 2025 is for their benefit to make them feel like, you know, anything that we get, anything that we have gained, anything that we have fought for, you know, in this 3D, they want to snatch it all back. And they want to make it out of law so that they can enforce it and sick the popo, the military, or whoever on anybody that goes against it. And it all benefits the Trump supporters. So now we've seen that. Hollywood production today that uh, quote unquote attempted assassination it looked like a big old trick to me it looked like a Hollywood production that immediately it looked like a Hollywood production because when people start shooting people start running people start panicking you had some people right there on the stage just sitting there like nothing ever happened and then we have the so called secret service to protect Donald Trump. Now y'all know that the Secret Service have training with the president in the event that there is an assassination attempt. He should give his total 
control his body to the secret service to guard and protect them they're surrounding them uh, uh risking their life risking getting hit by a bullet and so he's supposed to totally cooperate with them for his safety and for the least collateral damage in the event of an assassination but you see donald so check out this photo. There's an active assassination attempt going on. And they have him all oh, just like a big old big ass target. For the assassin. Really? Look at him. All of them looking at him wiping his face in front of the public. Showing the blood on the, uh, the napkin. You did too damn much, Donald Trump. You did too damn much with your little photo op. We know what you're up to. But you just try to hit us on the nose with that slipper. Yeah, you just try it and see what the lions do. Notice in this image, the slipper is black. At the event, he was an eyewitness that says he saw someone get hit by gunfire and rushed to their side. He joins me on the phone. Uh, Rico, where were you in relation to the, uh, to the president? So I was about 15, 20 feet to the president's right. Um, I was a special guest, and I spoke today with a few other uh, friends of mine. Uh, we were speaking as well. And yeah, I was 15, 20 feet away. And then as the shots ring out, did you identify them as shots right away? How did you react? As the shots ring out, did you identify them as shots right away? How did you react? 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 So, a part of me thought they were they were fireworks. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was like a, a split mental thought because I'm like, oh, you, you can't have a gun or anything in this area because of the security measures that are in place. It, a so this black slipper right here, he gets up there and he says that he heard, you know, the popping and um, he had a split thought. You know, it was so quick that uh, he had the security in his mind that it had to be fireworks, you know. See, they're trying to explain away why people didn't run. Why people in the kill zone around Donald Trump didn't even duck. They didn't even react. And I'm, I'm not talking about immediately. I'm talking about throughout the whole thing. All of those people in the kill zone. And they didn't move people away. People didn't try to leave. People didn't try to get out of the way of the gunshots. Are you kidding me? And they used this black slipper to try to push the narrative that, um, you know, especially now they had to use a black slipper. Because you know what we would have did. When we hear gunshots, it's no second thoughts. So they used this black slipper to explain away what was in people's mind when it happened. It had to be fireworks. Too much security for somebody to be in here with a gun. Uh-huh. We're going to see how they paint this narrative with the shooter. I don't know. Have, have they identified them him yet? You know, if somebody uh, knows if they have identified the shooter, I would like to know because I noticed another thing. That is the only fly in the milk. The black slipper. Now, you know that at all Trump rallies, they always have us sitting behind him for the photo op. They get first priority to the seats these rallies yet behind him I see none and in the crowd also I see none none of us now this photo op right here proves that this dude named Rico was lying his ass off yeah I don't even know if Trump was off the ground at this point but look at him does he look like he's in panic mode he looks like he got quite comfortable he has his tie off his jacket off Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was a big old Hollywood production. And you know, Mother, she she told me, you must destroy the illusion. You must destroy the illusion. Yeah, that was on October 7th. So we destroying the illusion of this Hollywood production. I mean, 
let, let's go over it, okay? We I'm just going to make some little commentaries while we watch it together. Because, see, this illusion, this illusion right here must be destroyed. Yeah, and that would that will take all the power out of Project 2025. We learned that. And so uh, we command, we command that this Hollywood production, the illusion of this Hollywood production to garner energy from all of those hive-minded Trump supporters to fight, to fight. Yeah, and I don't see any of us there, you see? <laughs> busted, busted, abracadabra. Someone get hit by gunfire and rushed to their side. He joins me on the phone. Uh, Rico, where were you in relation to the, uh, the president? So I was about 15, 20 feet to the president's right. Um, I was a special guest, and I spoke today with a few other uh, friends of mine. Uh, we were speaking as well, and yeah, I was like 15, 20 feet away. And then as the shots rang, did you identify them as shots right away? How did you react? No way, how did you react? No way, how did you react? You guys remember that guy? He used to put out a lot of TikToks and he would say, I know you lying. Yeah, this is a black slipper, y'all. He's black. And, and they have him up here with this explanation because if a black slipper puts this out in the news, in the narrative, that he thought it was a firework, then everybody will believe it. Because you know what our reaction would be if we heard that and we saw Donald Trump drop it to the ground. You know what we would have did. So we know you lying. So a part of me thought they were, they were, they were fireworks. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was like a, a split mental thought because I'm like, oh, you, you can't have a gun or anything in this area because um, the security measures that are in place. It, it's impossible. So I, my, my brain says, that's a firework going off. How did I get here? Who knows? But it's something small. And then I heard a second shot go off. And like, these were split seconds. So like, I, I said, that's, 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 that's a gun. Uh, the firearm. So I, I got up. I, I got up. Uh, the firearm. So I, I got up. Um, I yelled, everyone to get down. Everybody was getting down. Everybody was yelling, get down. I told people to get down. Um, and then now we know Hashitan's word magic has failed because his ch children are uh, unable to create a convincing lie. He just said his second thought was that it was a gunshot, it was a firearm, and he got up. Anyway, the fight or flight would have kicked in automatically. It's like a automatic reaction that flight would have been an automatic reaction when you realize it's a gunshot and what do you do you hide for safety but he got up anyway i know i'm just telling people to tell people like you know get down it's, it's safe measures um okay the reason behind this lie is because we see the truth before our very eyes of people's reaction when they realize Donald Trump went down. This is an attempted assassination. There's bullets flying all over the place. At least in that kill zone, you know, where Donald Trump was standing in front of him, all those people around him and behind him. Their reaction needed to an explanation. So they used this black ass slipper to come up with a lie to convince people why these people are not running, why they're not even ducking, just a few of them. Some of them are not even reacting. This is ridiculous. Okay, so let's look at the crowd's response once Donald, Donald Trump is down on the ground. You know, look at that little guard right there. Look like Hollywood production, I'm telling you. Look at the Secret Service. Look at Donald Trump standing right in the in the sight. One of them have his arm in front of him. The secret, you you telling me that he has how many people around him? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, something like that. And they don't have enough strength to control Donald Trump and to get him in, in, uh, into safety, make him invisible. And he's wrestling them so that he can shout out, fight, fight. You know, with a very angry expression on his face. You mean to tell me that they would allow Trump those specially trained, I mean, to be in the Secret Service, you know they have to know martial arts. They have to have stamina. They have to have strength. And you mean to tell me this that this old Humpty Dumpty was out of their control? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? By the way, the Black Slipper's name was Rico. The angels are so poetic. I wonder what Rico could possibly mean, Donald Trump. Okay, so once everybody realized it was a gunshot, let's look at them. They're standing up. They're standing up. Nobody's running. Nobody's panicking. Everybody's just standing up and trying to be nosy, knowing that there was a, uh, a shooting. And they had enough time on the ground to put that fake blood on his ear and on his face. And another thing that I noticed is that I saw a lot of uh, Biden, you're fired signs. It was a lot of Biden, you're fired. So they put Bi uh, Biden's name on signs behind Donald Trump with fired. You see what I'm saying? Magic. So they want to put this on. His main enemy right now is Biden. I have never seen in a Trump rally where they didn't have Trump's name, Trump 24, you know, something like that. But on this one, they have Biden's name with the words fired. This is like so stupid. Whoever put this shit together... Donald Trump should fire their asses because these lies right here, this illusion is so damn weak. And we are not tricked, but not the lions. No, we're not tricked with this shit. But what we are going to do is react to it. React to Hashitan's shenanigans and counteract his measures, okay? So we're counteracting this energy, you know, this energy trick. We're counteracting it by destroying the illusion. That's right before your very eyes. You see how the the uh, images doesn't fit the narrative? You see that? The truth is right before your very eyes. That's destroying Hashitan's illusion and his magic. So now the illusion is destroyed. So now we're going to counteract what he was trying to do. And that was to... <clears throat> that was to uh, cause a proliferation of the energy of anger and hatred of his target market, which is Trump supporters. Yeah, so now we're cursing all of the energy that he has gleaned. Anyone, anyone's energy that was affected against us with this shenanigans, we curse their energy. Abacadabra. We curse their energy, abracadabra. We curse their energy, abracadabra. Yeah, see, that's how us lions, that's how we fight back. We know our power. We know our power. And the unmitigated gall of those who would try to steal our crowns and our thrones. We fight back now. They want to pop us on the nose. The Project 2025, but the lions have awakened. The lions are no longer asleep. Yep, when we're not the cowardly lion in the Wizard of Oz anymore. Now we know our strength and power against you, Hashatan, and your crew. And we fight back. Yes. Abracadabra, Star Seeds United. If you resonate with this message and you are a judge out there, if I missed any point on the destruction of this document, where they're trying to steal, you know, whatever little, what they call rights, 
that we had in the civil rights movement and they want to go and just fire us, those that have sacrificed years of their lives to be more educated than them just to gain their position that's climbed up that ladder, that had stamina against all odds, that broke through those glass ceilings. They want to just go in there and fire their asses just because they are quote unquote black. They want to take every little step, and they were little steps, you know, every little step that we gained with these people, they were behind our backs, writing laws writing laws to go against us 10 times more. Yeah, so anyway, the little bit that we had, the little power in this matrix that we have, they want to take it all away. They want to pop us on the nose with that black ass slipper and subdue us. But the lions are awakened and there will not be a shred left. Yes. We move in our power now, you lions out there. This was definitely a transmission to you. Now, are you going to join your energy with mine to fight back? Will you join your purified energy with mine in the courts of the Most High and request judgment on Project 2025 and everybody involved? Will you put your guilties in the comment section, in the ethers? against these people that want to steal our rulership. They too. This, this is the synagogue of Satan behind all of it. But believe me, those 13 families at the top, they got Donald Trump in their pocket. That's already been exposed when he made Jerusalem the capital of Israel. That's when all of this war in Israel, that's what that set everything up for the escalation that led us to the Hollywood production that they did on October 7th. Same thing, same trick. Hashitan, your magic is old. It has lost its power. And you know now that the illusion, the illusion behind that slipper you got is powerless against the lions, the true lions, the lions of Judah. Lions of Judah. Our praises to the Most High for us knowing our power. See, our power, of course, our, our power is in our magic. Our, our magic has everything to do with words, our purified, our purified energy being accepted by the Most High God of Israel in the holy courts of Zion, where the rivers of fire just returned less than a month ago, I believe. Anyway, it might have been a month ago. Yeah, the courts of the Most High reactivated and we're taking our cases, our words, with evidence before the Most High God of Israel. And He is hearing us. And we're calling for judgment in this matter. Yahweh, Father, the Master of the Day of Judgment, your lions, lions are before you right now, fighting back, fighting back counteracting their measures, Father. And we ask that you honor our magic to destroy Project 2025 and everybody involved. Abracadabra. Yes, thank you, Father, for the opportunity and giving us power. We had no power in this dimension because they had our minds. But they no longer have our minds. Because the love of the Father activated our God DNA. He reconnected us to our holy, holy kingdom and the power of it. We were powerless like those lions, how they flinched when that man came out there. They were doing some fighting out there and he shows up with his slipper and take off his shoe while they're in the midst of a brawl. And all he had to do is take off his shoe and all of them scattered in fear. Well, we're no longer fearing anymore. The lions are communicating not only with each other, but we're communicating. We have direct communication with our father and our big brother, the Messiah. And we're taking that trashy piece of document that they think that they would steal our rulership with 
and we destroy it. Abracadabra. Father, we're going after Hashitan's magic. His word magic. In that ridiculous, insulting, disrespectful document that they created. Their study, the Project 2025, and we curse it. And Donald Trump trying to harvest energy towards their goal of stealing our rulership, Father. We curse all the energy, anybody that put any kind of energy into Project 2025 and try to push it. Anybody using their energy in any way to push that document, Father, we ask that you curse their energy. Not only their energy, but the energy of their posterity worldwide, abracadabra. We destroy all of that energy Hashatan tried to glean from that little Hollywood production, Father. And we ask you to expose it just like you did October 7th. You exposed it. Though the Atlanteans stood with the truth and the propaganda was exposed. And we ask you to do the same thing with this thing, Father. <clears throat> Father, we know that we're your lions. <laughs> We know that we have appointed thrones and crowns and we claim them and can't no devil in hell. Can't no serpent seed on this earth. Take it away from us. You gave it to us and we receive it and we own it and we're so happy to have it, Father. And we're so happy to be in our, our power. And we're so happy to have communication with each other and communication with you. And you gave us a way to fight back, Father. And we fighting back on that document. Cursed be unto Project 2025 and everybody who created it. Abracadabra. Let them receive their karma, Father, immediately. Immediately, Father. Abracadabra. Now we see where the mother told us to own our emotions of anger and hatred because that's what they're coming at us with. And we own it. And we took it to the courts of the Most High. Now obviously this was a plan B because that war in Israel that they wanted to use their victory to dominate the whole world and steal our rulership, that has failed. It is a complete failure. And so they came up with a plan B, a 900-page document to subject us, to rule over us, to steal our rulership once again. And we rebuke thee, Hashatan, and all your magic and all your words because we have the authority to reduce, to reduce you to nothingness in all of your works by the power and authority of our big brother, the king and god of this earth, who you will bow down to. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that our black Messiah is the king and god of this earth. Not you, Donald Trump, not those 13 families, but our Messiah, he is the king and the god of this earth. And we come against you under the power of his kingdom and his authority. Abracadabra. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this right here. This was the download that I received regarding that wicked, magical document, Project 2025. And we're asking the Most High for a rapid response on this court case, Abracadabra. I hope that you gleaned your power and your energy and that the Most High sparks our reactions to their shenanigans. May we have quick responses in our counteractions and in our power. Abracadabra, may goodness and mercy follow all of us all the rest of the days of our lives so that we will dwell in that magical, holy, powerful palace as the royal family all the days of our lives with our Father, the creator of all things and the master of the day of judgment, our mother, the beautiful Marihala, the Holy Spirit, and our big brother, the Messiah, the King, and the God of this earth. 
abracadabra. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your heart desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next Judgment News, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be.